What's the best question someone asked in sex ed? We had this mildly autistic kid in our class. Super happy nice upbeat and everything always volunteered a really nice kid. During class when we were being taught how to put a condom on and the instructor asked for a volunteer. No surprise he volunteers. He saunters up to the front grabs the condom starts to unwrap it and asks so do I eat it now? And moves to put the condom in his mouth. The instructor was like no Aaron please put it on the banana and very visibly trying to hold back a laugh. Blows out the other side of the condom and walks back to his seat with the ripped condom on the banana and keeps it for the rest if class while everyone tries their hardest to not to fall into hysterics. The teacher took it back at the end of class. Is it a dick move to piss in the girl because the toilet is really really far away? Some classmate. By definition I suppose it would. Best student answer from when I was in middle school talking about STDs or something. Kid. The elderly. Sex ed in 7th grade. Student. How does sex feel? Teacher. Asterisk smiling it feels nice. Student. Like. Really nice. Teacher. Yeah. 7th grade sex ed day. Boys and girls segregated. This was asked in the boys section. Q. What is the G spot? A female science teacher. It's right here points to the spot on a huge poster of vagina on the board and it feels really good when someone stimulates it. Most useful geography lesson we ever had. One student asked. Why is anal sex a turn on for lots of guys but not so much for girls? Do black people have black cum? Teacher. Anytime semen enters the vagina, the woman is at risk of pregnancy. Kid. What if she is on birth control? Teacher. There is still a risk. Kid. What if you're having sex and then you released your semen into one girl's mouth and then she passes it into another girl's mouth and then they spit it into each other's vaginas? Can they both get pregnant? Teacher. Quote. There is still a risk. I went to a Catholic. All boys high school we used to have sex ed taught to us by our gym instructor who was also a football coach he used to leave a question box on his desk and anyone that wanted to ask an anonymous question could write it on a piece of paper fold it up and put it in the box at the beginning of every class he would randomly select three questions out of the box to read we had all sorts of the normal questions can girls get pregnant from anal how old should i be before i have sex but the best instance is when he pulled a paper out and read, without hesitation sir, you're cute. Class died laughing. Kid. Can you get a girl pregnant from coming in her butt? Teacher. No. Kid. Thank God. The class just busts out laughing. Do guys have to wear pads just in case they ejaculate? 7th grade sex ed. Yes. I asked that question. I have no shame. What do boobs taste like? Answer. Lick the back of your hand. I disagree. Boobs taste like victory. When the teacher was talking about infertility, someone asked if two infertile people can make a baby because negative x negative equals positive. That's what you get for scheduling sex ed right after math. Kid. What happens if you pee in the girl? Teacher. She'll probably hit you. Is it masturbation or incest if you have sex with your clone? Is it gay to f*** your clone? Is a crisp packet and an elastic band a good substitute for a condom? What happens if you take a piss while it's in? I remember my professor giving my classmate the biggest are you f kidding me? Look in response. That's exactly the kind of question that should be asked in sex ed. Do black women lactate chocolate milk? The teacher left the room laughing. Maybe not the best question, but the best answer, some kid in my class asked why a penis was called a dick. And the teacher answered, because Richard was too formal. Is it wrong to masturbate while holding a picture of Jesus? Q an hour long lecture from the priest. Totally destroyed any chance of following the lesson plan or anything that day. Catholic school was a blast. More like the best answer. The teacher talking about puberty asked the class something like what changes happen to a boy when he reaches his teens. To which one kid answered he throws his Lego set away. Do you put the balls in? T. 
teacher, so all mammals have nipples, but the ones on men are basically superfluous. Now, mammals don't always have two. Dogs, for example, have seven. Student, raises hand. Oh, is that why they can hear so well? Stunned silence. This is real life. This is also the stupidest thing I have ever heard anyone on this planet say. Kid, why do people make noise moan while, you know, teacher, why do people go and when they enjoy their morning cereal, I just remember the class freaking out. Can you actually stick your dick in an ear and have ear sex, you know, like in Family Guy. Where does the penis bone go after your boner goes away? The penis bone goes back home to Penn Island where it waits in its little cave until you get another boner. It will come again. Do girls have butt hair? Why do flavored condoms exist? Because vaginas have taste buds. Last semester, my financial management teacher was also the sex ed teacher. He was going through the questions and answers he had on his computer while our class was working on some finance project. His computer was connected to the smart board. I briefly looked up from my paper and saw on the smart board what is penis. It was pretty hilarious when everybody saw it while they totally weren't expecting it cause it was finance class. Sex ed teacher. Sex is not the same thing as love. You love your mom. Right. Student. I love my dog. A friend of mine asked if he could eat cheese while having sex. The teacher just looked at him paused for a bit, contemplated what she had done wrong her whole life to have reached that precise moment and told him yes. So you grew up in Wisconsin. Girl, if you put cum in your hair does it make it shinier? Teacher, what boy told you that? Sex ed in the late 60s 6th grade, we were clueless. You learn about what happens in the woman, what happens in the guy, nothing about how they interact. Finishing the course. Teacher asks if anyone has a question, nerdiest guy, but brilliant has a PhD today asks, but how does the sperm get into the woman, teachers lose it so hard that we started laughing but we didn't really know why. Minutes later after the teachers composed themselves, they said that is called sexual intercourse the first time I had ever heard the term. Can you get pregnant from swallowing? Or do twins happen because of a threesome? Optimum has some explaining to do. If my dick is long enough, can it puncture a girl's stomach through vaginal intercourse and murder her? Yes, but only if the head is filed to a point. So let's say you are go to the bathroom and are hold a girl's hand can they get pregnant then? 100% serious question. Wasn't in sex ed, but maybe it was asked because we didn't have it at my Catholic school. Psychology teacher. Does anyone know what a Freudian slip is? Student. Er, uh, isn't that when the penis slips into the girl's butthole on accident? This is less of a question, but my teacher gave the go-ahead for people to ask whatever question they want before the class started. One person in the back timidly puts their hand up and says er, uh, so I just heard this as a rumor, and I don't know if it's true, it might not be, but er, uh, someone told me, that if you don't masturbate before the age of 18 you explode. You do, just not in the way you think. We had a box that everyone could write questions on a piece of paper and the teacher would read them to the class so it was anonymous. One of the questions was can you get pregnant from swallowing I'm sure the original question said come but he said semen. Immediately a girl towards the back of the room began to slouch in her chair. Her face got red and her boyfriend all of a sudden got a huge smile on his face. How come every time I ejaculate my balls shrivel up like a frightened turtle? If I am in a hot tub with a guy and he ejaculates, can I get pregnant? Teacher, no. Okay what if I'm in a hot tub with 50 guys and they all ejaculate at the exact same time? Then can I get pregnant? Teacher, what? If you're having anal sex with a girl and she farts, will your testicles explode? Will we have a practical exam? Definitely an oral one. Teacher, urine kills sperm. Kid, so if I pee in a girl, she can't get pregnant? Teacher, if you can find a girl that will let you do that, probably a good thing she won't have your kid. So we were learning about where AIDS came from, and how people first got it when they ate monkeys. So this one kid raises his hand and asks, do monkeys taste good? 
Yes. Next question. Can I give myself an STD from masturbating? Technically, I guess you could if you used a sex toy that someone else has recently used. When I was in 7th grade sex ed one of the female teachers jokingly said that they wanted to sew up their daughter's vagina to keep them from getting pregnant. My response was to raise my hand and ask, but how would they pee? One of the most popular girls in the grade responded, wrong hole. And that's how I learned that girls have three holes. Men have two. This was an auditorium discussion with my entire grade of 300-ish people. I spent the next five years with them. Never came up. But I've never forgotten. I like to think I helped all the other guys realize something. Do guys have periods? I asked it to show everyone that they don't because everyone said they do and called me an idiot. F you. Miles. Honestly. Poor Miles if he's bleeding from his dick every month. Does a longer penis mean more chance of conception because the sperm has less distance to travel? Saw this on a different thread but I think the consensus was that penis length was insignificant compared to ejaculation force. Can the nipple be bigger than the boob? Dear Lord, can it? If a girl has her nipples pierced, does the milk come out like a sprinkler? I'm legitimately wondering that now. So the sex ed teacher told us that after a vasectomy a guy still has something like 80 loads still active in him. My buddy looks over at the other teacher and says ah, I can knock that out in a weekend. We lost it. Can you use a Dorito bag as a condom? Male student. I heard cum tastes like almonds. Female teacher. I don't know I never had almonds. Nearly shat my pants. Does dick taste like a salami stick? Is it true that if you punch a girl in the stomach after sex she won't get pregnant? I miss public school. During elementary school, our teacher said we could ask him anything about sex or golf. So my best friend asks, what if we get an erection when we play golf? Everybody exploded in laughter. Is it okay to let my buddy use the same condom after I do? This is the question that should have been asked before a kid actually did it and was later stuck with a child support case with his buddy's girlfriend. The story has heard it. Two young couples were having a good time with their SOs but only had one condom. The first guy safely finishes the deed with his girl then gives the used rubber to his buddy who turns it inside out and proceeds with his girl. Safe. Right. I wish I could believe that nobody is that stupid. I wish. In high school my sex ed teacher was talking about the different ways people have sex. And she got to oral. She went on to tell the class that men's ejaculate is a mixture of proteins and sugars. My classmate asked so is it like. My teacher was half a second from answering till she got read she was a fairer skinned black lady in the face and just chose to not answer at all. Boy I would died if she did though. A girl in my class asked if sperm was safe to swallow. Our teacher muttered I hope so. He was in his 50s. It was very unnerving. Why did you assume he was the one swallowing? He could have been worried about the health of his boyfriend. It was STD day in our sex ed class. To really scare us into abstinence, the teacher passed around pictures of affected genitalia. One picture in particular sparked the question from one of my classmates. EWW, what turned this one black? The guy who had just handed it to her explained for everyone to hear. Haley, that is a black guy's dick. Why does it hurt when you get shampoo in your dick hole? The kid had a solid question. Best question from my 7th grade sex ed class. If I go in the bathroom and jerk off. Then touch the doorknob to get out of the bathroom. Then my mom touches the doorknob while going into the bathroom and fingers herself can I get her pregnant. The fear in his eyes was palpable. Child, what is an orgasm like? Mr. C, it's like a surge of a really happy feeling and relief for 5 seconds. Now Miss D will explain what the female orgasm is like. Miss D no I bloody won't. The teacher was discussing foreplay when one of the students asked. Does heavy petting make the pussy purr? If you do it right, it also drools.